Chapter 1191, Bloodline. After seeing the void and perfection clouds, the schoolmaster became less tense and patted his chest. Then you were one of us, we can't talk freely. With that, his face turned a bit bitter as he looked at Li Kai. If you only took the clouds down in the beginning, then we wouldn't have had to do anything. I received quite a scare just now, my old bones can't handle this torture. Sorry, sorry, I just arrived at the school so I forgot. Li Kai smiled in response. Both the schoolmaster and Yi Tu calmed down. They didn't want to fight at all. The schoolmaster told Li Kai, our void imperfection three schools do have an ancestral teaching. Seeing as how you could bring down the clouds, you are part of our family, so we won't say no. Li Kai gently nodded, if immortal Emperor Wu has left behind a teaching, then nothing can be better. I have no other requests, like before, I only want to take water from the void imperfection spring. I'm sure it will be fine. The schoolmaster quickly said, let me go report this to the ancestors to find out the ancestral whale's location. Once we find out, I'll inform you immediately. Li Kai agreed, very good, let me know when you find out. I'll be staying at Shallow Beach in the meantime. Having said that, he stood up. The schoolmaster noticed that he was about to leave, so he rubbed his palms together and attempted to hold the guest back. With a big grin, he insisted, it wasn't easy for you to come here, so why not stay for a while? Check out our pretty sceneries and allow me to play the part of a good host. Li Kai laughed and told the schoolmaster, don't tell me you want me to pick a bunch of ladies from the school? Such words were very direct, so the schoolmaster coughed awkwardly. He became a bit embarrassed and smiled, if you like any lass from our school, you can take her away anytime. A girl isn't an object. Li Kai chuckled and shook his head. The schoolmaster grinned, but he spoke with a serious tone, all along in the heaven spirit world, many things remain unchanging. It was this way in the past and shall be this way in the future. Who can escape the trend of reproduction for the greatness of a race? Yes, and it's not just the heaven spirit world, a few things will never change in the nine worlds. Li Kai had grown accustomed to this type of marriage. This matter happened a lot in the rest of the nine worlds as well. Countless lineages saw alliances forged through marriage. However, the three grand races here were a bit different. They wanted excellent human bloodlines to have descendants with brilliant talents and bloodlines. The schoolmaster earnestly said, Virtuous nephew, you have an imperial bloodline. Even if you don't care for the charming spirits or the other races, you should still consider doing something for your own sake. Your precious bloodline should be passed down. In this regard, do you think there is a more suitable race than us charming spirits to be your match? This was not boasting. There were many races in the nine worlds, but none of them dared to claim to be better than the charming spirits. They were called the favorites of the heavens, this was not something they claimed themselves but a fact recognized by many races. Li Kai looked at him and said, Your void imperfection school wants more than just an excellent bloodline. You also want to imitate Immortal Emperor Gu Chun's four branches as well as train an ultimate Immortal Emperor, even if it is a human. It is not just our school. The other charming spirits, Dreans, and Sea Demons are also doing the same, am I wrong? The schoolmaster replied. Li Kai insipidly said, the legend is not necessarily true. Among the charming spirits and even the entire heaven spirit world, there was a legend. It states that when an imperial bloodline from the human race comes together with an excellent charming spirit bloodline, the result would be the further perfection and strengthening of the human bloodline. At the same time, the charming spirit's bloodline would increase in potency and its potential would be excavated to the extreme. This all started with immortal emperor Yan Shi. She was an extremely unbelievable immortal emperor, so people took note of the conditions surrounding her. In fact, there was some evidence of this later on as well. After the emperor, the four branches of immortal emperor Gu Chun passed down even better bloodlines, giving them a large number of outstanding bloodlines. With this result, the future generations believe that a human imperial bloodline had a great effect in enhancing the bloodlines of charming spirits. Due to this, Human imperial bloodlines were especially welcomed whenever they appeared in a heaven spirit world. They were absolutely the best among stallions. Well, well, without trying, how would we know if it is true or not? The schoolmaster chuckled. The schoolmaster really wanted Li Kai to stay at the three schools. If they could have his bloodline as well, it would fortify their status. Oh? You want to steal Golden Isle's groom? Li Kai couldn't help but chuckle. If I am not mistaken, your void and perfection school has never interfered with mundane matters or competed with others. The schoolmaster gave a natural smile in response. Nephew. You still haven't married the miss from the Yi clan yet, so how can this be considered stealing their groom? Plus, even if you had married, this is no big deal. Since the start of time, heroes would always have many companions. I see, you want me to turn into the best stud to spread my seed everywhere. Li Kai laughed and shook his head. Unfortunately, I have no interest in this. The schoolmaster opened his mouth in order to say something, but Li Kai waved his hand. I'm not interested, even if you provide better conditions. It's not like Golden Isle hasn't tried before, either. The schoolmaster could only softly sigh after hearing this but he didn't give up. You are still one of us. Our doors will always be open for you. One day when you are tired of drifting in this world, you can come and stay with us here, at Void and Perfection. Thank you. Li Kai didn't refuse the schoolmaster's kindness. He flashed a quick smile before turning around to leave. He went back to Shallow Beach afterward. Meanwhile, Yi Tu stayed with him the entire time, entertaining him with great enthusiasm. You are the regional supervisor here, don't you have work to do? Li Kai looked at him with one eye and asked after seeing the youth working so hard. Yi Tu smiled and replied. 
Our Void Imperfection School aims for serenity and going with the flow. There is normally nothing to do, so we just sit there in a daze. Since you're here as our guest, let me be as good of a host as possible, lest others consider us to be inadequate with our hospitality. Lee Kai smiled and knew that this was the schoolmaster's idea, so he didn't chase him away. After two days, Tang Jiwen finally came. He bowed after seeing Lee Kai. By the command of the forefather, this junior is here to obey your commands, sir. Just let me know when you require my service. There's no need for formalities, I am not that old. Li Kai gently waved his sleeve and told him to stand up. Yi Tu also recognized Tang Jiwen and quickly chatted with him. If the two of you want to follow me, come then. Li Kai glanced at the two before leaving Shallow Beach. The two looked at each other, not knowing what Li Kai wanted to do. Regardless, they hurried to catch up to him. After leaving the beach, they continued traveling quite far on the seabed. This was the Void of Perfection School's territory, so whether it was the surface or the seabed, Yi Tu was very familiar with it. He looked at the scene along the way and murmured, Ahead is the bottomless trench, are we really going there? Yes and no. Li Kai answered while comfortably leading the way. He strode forward while remaining untouched by the water as if he was gliding through the liquid. This manner of movement was very elegant, like drifting clouds flowing with the current. Yi Tu calculated the time and said, The season of the needlefish is almost upon us. Young noble, could it be that you are here for them? Needlefish. Li Kai smiled and shook his head, You are underestimating me too much. Needlefish can indeed be regarded as precious. However, a fish king can barely be considered top grade, they can't get into my eyes. The bottomless trench? Tang Jiwen thought about the legend and speculated, Sir, are you here for the legendary sea crossing shuttle then? Yes and no. Li Kai smiled and flatly said, Your thinking might not be as quick as Yi Tu, but you are much more meticulous than him. Sea crossing shuttle? Yi Tu heard this name and was surprised. Legend states that the shuttle hasn't appeared for a very long time. Until now, all three great races of the heaven spirit world have been searching down at the bottomless trench, especially us charming spirits who do so every single generation. Certain things will appear when the time is right. The disappearance was only due to outsiders not knowing about its existence. Li Kai plainly explained, like your ancestral whale, it also disappeared to those who were unable to see it. Yi Tu felt that this explanation made sense, 